Hey, Tom from Switched here, and I've got two tiny PCs that are both small, light, and best of all, they're cheap. Even though they're small and they're cheap, they do everything that more expensive and bigger computers can do. You can do word processing, you can surf the web, you can edit images, you can do internet telephony so you can make phone calls on them, you can watch videos, you can balance your checkbook, it's amazing. They run really quickly because they use Linux, which is an operating system like Mac or Windows, looks just like it, but actually uses a lot fewer resources of the computer. So it'll start up quickly, even though it's this very basic computer inside. The problem is because it uses Linux, you can't use any of your favorite programs from Mac or Windows, but that's okay because any of your files that you may have created in a Windows program, say Microsoft Word, or any of your images, or any MP3s will work just fine on any of these programs. Now what's really great about these also is that they run really quickly and are power efficient because they have no moving parts. They have flash memory rather than hard drives. So they're both Wi-Fi enabled so you can surf the web quite easily, download documents, all that sort of a thing. But they also have built-in Ethernet ports so that you can also plug in a wired connection. So which one should you get? It's really a tough call. I think they're both really fun. It really kind of boils down to how you like the keyboard design. I find the EverX Cloudbooks designed to be a little bit more awkward. The touchpad and the mouse click buttons are on the top of the keyboard, which I just find a little bit awkward, but to be honest, I got used to it after a couple of days. What I do like about this is it's got this kind of little space here so you can carry it around a, a bit more easily. The Asus EPC though is, you know, I think the keyboard is a little bit better designed. So, you know, this one you can get right now. The EverX is supposed to be in Walmart right now, but I know that they were having a few delays, but probably by the time you see this, it'll be available. So it's really gonna boil down to, you know, how you like your keyboard. These things are totally cool and I would be just as psyched about them if they cost $4,000, but they don't, they cost $400 and they're super small. I've been carrying them around for like three weeks. The best thing about it though is that just like the much more expensive MacBook Air, they fit nicely into a manila envelope and look there's all this extra room for like cables and webcams and all kinds of other stuff. This is Tom from Switched. For more laptop tips, reviews, hints, and tricks, go to the Switched Laptop Guide at switched.com.